want to take a look at this uh, Marvel Punisher figure that I picked up for a project that I'm working on. And I'm also going to let you have a look at the project that he's intended for. So you have Marvel, the Punisher, combat weapon, and then some other languages there. It's a really good looking figure. I looked at several Punisher figures and uh, this one I like. I like this one a lot. And of course, your cross sell section there. And uh, you can pause it if you want to read it. This is a Hasbro product. Anyway, so let's get him out of the package. We'll go through him like it's a standard review. And then uh, we'll introduce the project that he's actually intended for. All right, already, I'm already pleased with the way he stands. And unfortunately, for the project that he's going to be used for, he won't need to stand. Can you see the irony there? All right, let's go with the, through his accessories real quick. He comes with this monster combat weapon. And it's, uh, it's, it's okay. The detail is okay. Of course, there's some sloppiness right there. So, again, this tells me that this is a kid's toy, you know, which is good because it's going to probably get abused. But right out of the box, in typical Hasbro fashion, you can see that the barrel is already bent. And this is one of the things that irks me about Hasbro toys these days, is their quality of plastic and their quality control absolutely blows. Anyway, now that I got that out of my system, I mean, look at this casting, this, this crappy casting here. You know, let's see if we can see that there. See that? Look at those funny lines in there. Just, you know, to me, this is just garbage. All right, moving on to the head and its paint. Now, the, the head is painted very well and sculpted very nice. You know, nice teeth, nice little red inside the lips there. You know, maybe not a red, maybe maybe a pinkish peach, you know. Nice separation of colors on the, the headband and the hair. Very nice. Eyes are painted very nice. You can see multiple colors in there. The white, the blue, and the black. Very, very nice. Good sculpt. Really is. And you got a little blue wash inside the head there, you know. I do, uh, you know, it looks like it's from 5 o'clock shadow. Very nice. I like the head. Let's look at this figure here. And he's a little clean shaven here. No 5 o'clock shadow to speak of. He's, uh, he's still got the um, little lock of hair that folds down. But it's actually on the other side. As you can see right there. And I think I like this head for the application he's going to be used for. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, good sculpt again, you know. No blue in this hair. Uh, none whatsoever. And uh, I'm looking at the sculpt real quick. Uh, guess I shouldn't expect much for $15. But anyway, you see some white on the eye there? Right there. So it looks like the skull was painted, and then the eyes were painted over that, and then something got beneath the black paint and left yourself a white mark there but again I don't really care if this was a high quality collector figure then I would probably be a little peeved by that but for what he's gonna be doing I do not care alright so let's go through his uh, articulation head back like so very nice head forward and it's also on this old uh, toy biz style Marvel Legends hinge which is kinda cool and so we get much we don't get much in the way of the bird head, but that's okay. Head down, head back. Goes high as that on the arm. You have a bicep cut. You have kind of a double jointed elbow. Boy, soft plastic. Be careful when you're moving these things around. That much on the double jointed elbow. And you get a 360 degree swivel and a hinged wrist. Moving down, a little bit of an ab crunch, but it seems to be spring loaded. Really, I mean, it wants to spring right back up. There we go. Snap. It's not like I broke it. 
go back that much, forward that much. Uh, no, yeah, there is a swivel in the waist, but it does something funny with the belt, as you can see. Anyway, you get it. Get that much kick out to the side, that much back kick, not much, that much forward kick, and no swivel there, but you do get a stubborn thigh cut. Oh my gosh. Careful with these joints. You may snap them. After all, it is Hasbro. Double jointed knee. That much bend. And moving down. Toe down. That's nice. Toe up. That's really nice. And oh, you get a cut at the calf there. And you get, wow, that much articulation. That is, well, I'm going to say that's really nice. That's a big plus for this figure. And that just about does it. Let's pop this head off and put the uh, pissed off head on. Already looks like a better figure. Now, you get no interchangeable hands. So, let's see how he's actually supposed to uh, hold this gun. My guess is you got the handle here. This is the shoulder rest, like so. So this is a bazooka, right? What we're going to call it. It's what I'm going to call it. So if he's resting his shoulder there, he's going to have to try. Let's see. Again, I am not using this weapon at all. Wow, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Holy crap. You know what? That is next to impossible. Maybe with a little heat. You don't want to start snapping off his thumbs and his digits. So, anyway, for me, that's not going to be used anyway. That he wouldn't have to. Let's see why he won't have to be standing this vehicle right here. This is a project that I started working on about a year ago. Uh, I run another uh, RC, uh, another YouTube channel called Howling Wolf RC. And uh, I started this project before I stopped making videos because it just got to be uh, overwhelming. You know, it's just a lot of work doing an RC video as opposed to an action figure review video. Uh, a lot of editing, a lot of cuts, a lot of takes, and a lot of moving parts on a RC video. So how does this figure of the Punisher factor in to this Axial Wraith Jeep here? Well, let's see. These are some parts that I 3D printed for this vehicle. And it was going to be called the Punisher uh, Wraith and I just put it off. But then recently I got the urge to, to get this project up and going again. So I just set out to look for a nice Punisher figure. And this is the one I saw that I liked. I'm looking through multiple ones online. Uh, this is the one I liked. The articulation was nice. And he's going to be able to fit in the fabricated seat that I make for this. But as you can see, he will be painted just like the Punisher's chest. And Punisher colors. And as you can see, that fits like a glove. Now, originally, this is outfitted with a Lexan Jeep body. And, uh, of course, we're not going to be using that. I 3D printed a canvas roof for this vehicle as well. So, what that means is, let me, uh, let me cut and get a higher view, a bird's eye view of this. There's some work that needs to be done here. Now, I have to fabricate the panels to hide the side here. Because the body, the original body fit all the way down and hit this entire chassis. So that's easy. I'm just going to use some thin aluminum and I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to chip away at it, exposing some of the aluminum underneath to give it that, you know, like it's been through a war kind of look. Now the roof here is supposed to be canvas. As you can see, you can see the cross braces inside there. Now these are actually going to be glued together like so. 
nice clean edge and filled and painted black to match the hood and the hood will be dry brushed in white and maybe a little bit of brown simulating the dried blood but for the front of this uh i actually printed out the teeth and nose as well also these slots here actually are designed to fit down between those supports just like that so yeah, there's a little work to do on here, but this vehicle is already ready to run. It's been run. As you can see, there's dirt on here. This is one of my go-to vehicles. Because of the aluminum rims, you got good weight. It, it's just a really a beast. You can just tear the hell out of this. I'm going to include in the link below in the description the video of where I 3D printed these if you guys are interested in checking it out. You know, but this is a project that we're going to feature on this channel until we get it done because I think uh, I think it's time. You know, summer's coming and I'm getting the Jones to go out running some RC vehicles. So, yeah, but I thought this would factor in really nice with a um, an action figure uh, review. So, yeah, this is your new vehicle Punisher. Get ready. You know what? I just had an idea. Maybe, just maybe, I can actually install this on here somewhere. Just a static, you know, somewhere on, on here. Maybe, maybe on the door. Give it a little more dimension. You know, I don't know, something to think about. Usually the way these things go is they happen organically. As you start, you see another idea, you come up with something else, and you go with it. And those are the best projects, really. So, yeah, stay tuned for more on this. This will be a playlist in itself. So, if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you again.